Saturday, September 26th at uh, 7.30 p.m. You can see the, uh, the lights, the intersection lights are working. But uh, beyond that, it appears we have a power outage. Seems like pretty much everything on uh, South 156th Street here went dark, uh, including, and I'll show you this, the, uh, the Five Corners Shopping Plaza. Now, it seems to be a very localized um, thing. So I'm not sure exactly what happened. But down in, uh, on 160th Street, there are lights on. Uh, everything in downtown Berrien. 152nd, 153rd. As far as I can see, that's all working. There's even some lights on over at the school there uh, as you get, you know, closer to 152nd Street. And those apartments down there, the lights are on. So whatever's going on here, it's, it's pretty localized, and I, I'm, I've been looking um, to see if I see any, you know, utility poles down, or a, a circuit breaker box that's damaged. I know a lot of the utilities, uh, the city's been working on undergrounding the utilities, so... I don't know if I would necessarily see whatever the problem is. It's just super weird because, you know, 7.30 at night and all of a sudden all the lights on the street are off. And I'm looking as I walk past the apartments here, you know, they're all dark. Uh, all these little houses here. I, you probably this is going to be a terrible video because you can't see anything because everything's dark. That's the main driveway to Cambridge Apartments. Only lights you can see are car lights. So I'm just going to walk down to the shopping center, walk through there, show you that everything is out. Even this uh, crosswalk here. Now, the uh, the light was on down for the intersection on Des Moines Memorial Drive, and the light's on at the intersection at First Avenue, and this weird uh, light is on in the bus shelter. I think that's one of those lights that, uh, like charges, you know? See, the light's even out on this, so if I cross it, nothing happens. Or, if, you know, if I press the button. So uh, that's my building right there, shrouded in darkness.
This right here is the uh, Christian Science Church. Uh, once again, you know, pitch black. So it's very unusual because uh, 160th Street, uh, for those who might not know, that's the dividing line. You see just a car there. That's the dividing line between uh, Puget Sound Energy and Seattle City Light. And if you're uh, north of 160th, which means your street number's, you know, less than 160th, like here on 156th, this is Seattle City Light territory. And... Uh, Usually Seattle City Light is uh, better about keeping the power on. So you can see the lights on down there. That's uh, the CVS just south of 160th. So all those lights are Puget Sound Energy. And it looks like this uh, portion that's out is all Seattle City Light. All right, so this is the uh, Highline Club right here. You can barely make out that sign, but we're walking down the driveway. This is the Five Corners Shopping Center. Once again, the only lights I can see are cars. Probably people trying to drive out because they uh, someone has put an end to their shopping. Uh, that's the McDonald's right here. Now, I'm hearing some popping noises. I'm not sure what the heck that is. Okay, so uh, a few cars there. I see a couple lights on inside of the Ross. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. But this here's the round table. Uh, no lights there. Wendy's, nothing. Arby's doesn't look like it's on either. Ah, you can see some lights from across the street. That's the Nissan dealership. Once again, that's south of 160th. Just trying not to get run over by these cars here. You know, it's pretty dark. And I'm wearing a black jacket. I uh, 
I actually went out a little before the uh, outage happened. You know, I was just going to go for a walk, see if there was anything to record, and wouldn't you know... Okay, this is weird. The PCC has still got some lights on. But uh, everything, even across the street, everything else seems to be off. So the PCC might have its own generator or something. I mean, if you uh, shop there, you're paying enough. You might as well be powering a generator. Anyway, I guess if you want to shop, the PCC is open. Uh, yeah, all those other stores appear to be out of luck. And once again, uh, on the south side of the street there, you see the uh, apartments, their lights are on. I used to live in those apartments. Uh, yeah, the car dealership, their lights are on. I'm going to head out to the sidewalk here and walk back up the street. There's the 165 bus. It's still running. They just uh, recently changed the uh, service schedule on the buses. You know, they, they do that twice a year. They have a service revision. And uh, I have a lot of strong thoughts about Metro. As you might imagine, if you've seen some of my previous videos, but uh, that 165 route, they took uh, two previous routes, the 164 and the 166, and they combined them. So logically, you know, it's the 165. And that one I think is good. I think that'll help them provide a little bit better service. So you got uh, the little convenience store right there. Mini Mart, Jays. We got Farmers Insurance. I do see uh, one light on up the street a little bit that looks like it might be Kiki's Cafe. So, uh, I would say it was about uh, 7.25, maybe, that the power went out. There's the uh, Veterinary Center powers out there, too. Okay, the Wendy's is interesting because you got, uh, I don't know if you can really see it here, but there is, the lights are off, but the, the exit light is on, and the exit light has, uh, like a spotlight attached to it that's providing illumination, and I actually see an employee walking around in there. So anyway, good on Wendy's, though. Uh, okay, here we got a fire truck. That might be uh, responding to the power issue. Let's, uh... Yeah, it looks like it's driving pretty slow, like it's about to turn in. Yep, here we go. I'm going to cut back into the uh, driveway here. I know I'm narrating this, like, you, you all can't see what I'm doing. It's... Uh, 
I'm just trying to uh, not get run over by cars. That's basically what I'm doing at this point. But the fire truck drove into this parking lot here uh, out in front of the PCC. Once again here, trying to not get run over. So you got somebody out there uh, with a flashlight. All right, so the fire truck is right in front of PCC. So, um... I'm going to try to find myself a good position here. All right, I guess this is uh, as good as any. So once again, I'm still not sure if the fire truck is related to the power outage or it's just, you know, happening at the same time. Because they went into the PCC, which is the one place here that's still got power. There's a cart uh, kind of rolling around all by itself. That's probably not good. I will say it seems like uh, most of the people out tonight enjoying their Saturday evening are wearing masks. So, you know, good on them. Now we have this car here, uh, driving around without its front lights on. It seems a little dangerous to me.
given that you know there's a power outage, right? Alright, so once again, this seems to be uh, between 156th and 160th Street. Uh, I went from Des Moines Memorial Drive all the way to First Avenue, and uh, everything pretty much seemed like it was out. I don't know how far it extends to the east or west. Uh, Looks like everything in downtown Beery and, you know, 152nd, 153rd area is unaffected. So I just assume it's this uh, four block stretch here. Four blocks uh, north to south, I'm not sure how far east or west it goes. Because uh, east of Des Moines Memorial Drive, uh, it's just the airport land, and uh, most of that there's the, most of it, at least on the the western side, is just like a wildlife preserve. So they don't need power there. And once you get to the uh, the runways and stuff, I'm sure it has uh, its own power systems. You know, you got to make sure planes can land, right? There's probably backups to the backups on those. And then, uh, on the west side, I will say I did look up, you know, towards, like, 4th Avenue Southwest. And I couldn't really tell. It didn't seem like there were any lights on in the next few blocks, but, uh, you know, I'm not sure about that. All right, here come the firefighters. Okay, we got somebody running. Oh, looks like he was just tracking down a shopping cart. Okay, maybe those are the guys that round up the shopping carts. Um, well, all right, the fire truck is leaving. Um, let's just see where it goes. Okay, the lights are off now. Looks like it's just probably going back to the, uh, fire station. All right, so, um, I have no answer for you. Uh, apparently the, uh, the fire response was unrelated. So at this point, uh, power's just off, so if you're in the area, use caution. 
as far as I can see, all the stoplights are working except the uh, crosswalk uh, on South 156th and 4th South. So uh, be very careful if you're going to drive by that crosswalk. Just make sure you uh, look for people who might be trying to cross the street. And if you're trying to cross the street, please be especially careful. And I'll uh, pop back on if I figure out what's going on.